Hey to everyone, it's Chris Khan Academy YouTube channel. Now we are going to discuss about the adaptations of red blood cells as usual. As the today of video, I would like to subscribe, comment, share, and like for this video so that we can go together and go through. So, what's a blood, red blood cells? Uh, what are uh, their adaptations? and how it helps in this adaptation one uh, the, uh, the red blood cells have this big concave shape this increases a surface area for exchange of gases through the diffusion so in this big concave shape are uh, like it to be found in this uh, it's this symbolizes the shape of the red blood cells as you see that helps uh, the red blood cell to increase the surface area of the gas was exchange the adaptation number two they have hemoglobin which combines with the oxygen and transport it to the blood cells so this adaptation is very also contagious to the red blood cells due to fact that it have the hemoglobin which is red in color this combined with oxygen and then helps in the transport uh, to the area ever uh, the hemoglobin to the different areas of the 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 body so number three is have so they have a hemoglobin uh, sorry they have no internal organs and this provide more space filled with hemoglobin so due to fact that they don't have the internal organs those cytoplasm uh, the gorge bodies the virus this helps the cell to be filled with the hemoglobin, which is very important than those organelles. So they have the plasma membrane, which allows the rapid diffusion of gases. So this also another adaptation of red blood cell, which uh, helps the red blood cells to survive. And here we are going to see there are difference or so the stronger difference between and the relationship between red blood cell and white blood cells so here we are going to see what makes white blood cells so white blood cells comprises two parts where you have the phagocytes and the lymphocytes so these are two parts found in the white blood cells and these have the differences uh, starting from the lymphocytes the lymphocytes uh, have composed of two parts b lymphocytes and t lymphocytes where t lymphocytes uh, b lymphocytes pr produce saturate, saturating uh, antibodies and lymphocytes are responsible for cell meditation immunity so uh, in the phagocytes for the phagocytes we have Different systems that are like to be found, they are being called, they have monocytes, neutrophils, basophils, and the eosinophils. So these are the components of phagocytes, in which are like a part of the white blood cells. So, dear friends, the antibodies produced by the lymphocytes are grouped into two groups again, where you have agrotin agrotinin and antitoxin so in agrotinin which causes phago, phago, pathogens to agglutinate lump block that prevents microbes from multiplying eventually so in agrotinin as the antibody parts uh, the next part which is called antitoxin they are neutralized poisons or they are responsible to neutralize the poison produced by the microbes and other organelles. So this is two parts that are comprises the lymphocytes uh, that are found from the white blood cells and which are responsible to produce antibodies. And those antibodies are divided into two parts, as I said, with their respective functions. So, as far as the situation concerned with today's video, I was already, or I wished to share with you the adaptation of red blood cells and what comprises in white blood cells now thank you for watching this video uh 
بيتا ويس ميسك سب 